Bitcoin investors feeling good as hell today. The crypto coin reaching an all-time high, rising above 68,000 this morning. Politicians jumping on the bandwagon to be the first to usher in the crypto age. And I salute them. New York City Mayor-elect Eric Adams and Miami Mayor Francis Suarez promising to collect some of their future paychecks in Bitcoin. Suarez is unveiling a plan to turn Miami into the nation's premier crypto city, which is fantastic because they're already the premier city for lime green Speedo thongs and Cuban cigars. All right, but what will that mean for the people who live and visit there? Here with me now, the mayor of Miami, who was just reelected to his second term, Francis Suarez. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much, Kenny. It's a pleasure to be with you. So tell me, what is your vision for crypto and Miami specifically? How is crypto, how could it lower taxes for people in your fair city? Well, in a number of different ways. First of all, uh, we've already sort of differentiated ourselves as the crypto capital of the United States. We got the Bitcoin conference, which was a 50,000 person conference. We got FTX to do a $200 million deal uh, naming uh, the arena. We've gotten uh, exchanges like uh, XBTO and eToro and uh, blockchain.com to locate uh, and headquarter in the city of Miami, which has created hundreds of high paying jobs. So that's sort of on the industry side. Uh, we're also uh, working with Bitcoin and something that we call Miami coin that's generated $20 million that we're gonna stake and it's gonna provide a Bitcoin return, a Bitcoin yield that we're going to pass on to our, uh, to our residents. So we're gonna be the first city in America that will actually be returning money based on an investment uh, to its residents. And so that is, uh, that's an incredible collaboration uh, that we've seen uh, between the community that created uh, Miami Coin and the Bitcoin community that it's stacked on top of. Uh, and the fact that, you know, I've decided to take uh, my salary in Bitcoin has also set off uh, another wave of, of mayors, like the mayor of New York, the mayor of Tampa. I've gotten calls from the mayor of Jacksonville. Um, who also want to take their salaries in Bitcoin. So um, this is a new a frontier for America, and it's extremely exciting, something that's going to benefit our country and our citizens. All right, so that all happens if uh, if Bitcoin and, and various cryptocurrencies go up. What happens? You know, there are a lot of people who look at this, and they're scared to get in. They see the volatility. What happens if your city coin goes down? Do people have to pay higher taxes? No, they don't because uh, city coin is something that's voluntary, right? So people who mine city coin uh, create a mining reward, just like you get a reward for mining Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And a percentage of that reward is put into a digital wallet that the city benefits from. And so we're going to be uh, cashing out a percentage of what has been accumulated, the $20 million that's been accumulated in just three months. And that's tax free. In other words, you know, people are not contributing any taxes into it. In fact, we've lowered taxes to the second lowest rate since the 1960s. So, uh, you know, Miami, uh, this is additional tires. revenue that comes from a non-tax source. I wish, I wish more people would discover the joy of lowering taxes. Uh, the country and so many cities would be in a much, much better place. And speaking of which, how could you encourage the Fed uh, to engage in the sort of crypto investment that you have in Miami? Because if it lowers taxes for people in your city, isn't there a way of implementing this uh, with the Fed and the IRS? You know, the Fed, the Fed has an issue. And the issue is that the Fed, as well as Congress, is controlled by people. And, and they obviously, um, you know, can create policy, whether it's monetary policy or fiscal policy, mm -hmm. that doesn't always necessarily benefit our citizens. And so what's happening with Bitcoin is it's, it's a computer program. It's not manipulated by any human beings. Uh, you don't create more circulation. You don't create more, uh, you know, a more, uh, uh, you know, a revenue stream. And so what we're seeing with these incredible deficits uh, and the expansion of the money supply mm -hmm. is you have rampant inf inflation and, and the that's inflation, right. the CPI numbers are probably underestimating how bad inflation is right now. And that's why people are taking their money out of dollars and they're and they're flooding uh, the Bitcoin market, which is why the Bitcoin price has gone up to record levels. People are hedging against an inflating dollar and they know that they're losing money just having their money sitting in a bank account. Well, so, I can't wait. You know, I can't wait to see uh, you make money and the people of Miami benefit from this experiment, which I, I think will work in your favor. I hope more people in power are forward-looking like you and they stay out of people's lives. Mayor Suarez, thanks for coming back. Appreciate it.